So when Trey pulled up, you know, I was just watching them or whatever, and I could just tell they was hee hee and ha ha and stuff like that. Like, I knew one of them liked him. Like, I knew that for a fact. Shiny, I'm only tell you this once you the Welcome to my channel. It's your girl, Haley Simone, the one and only Haley Simone. Y'all, I'm over here eating while I'm about to eat. I got me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and I got me some strawberries. Oh my gosh, I should have poured the water out of them after I had rinsed them. I thought I got the water out of them real, real good, but I didn't. It's cool. I'm literally like behind schedule, y'all. I was supposed to leave the house like. 20 minutes ago it's literally 1 20 right now and i'm supposed to be on the way to the doctor as we speak because i gotta be there at 2 45 and it's an hour drive and plus i gotta take this glucose test today so y'all know i gotta drink let me show y'all i gotta drink this good thing i got up this morning and i actually read what was on it because i did not read it after i got it so good thing i read what was on it because they told me that it's better um whenever it's cold so hopefully i do not get sick after i drink it because y'all know i've been sick my whole pregnancy literally and traffic is like bad where i'm at right now i gotta hurry up and go to the atm grab some money take it to mama and then i'm gonna be on my way to the doctor so hopefully this only takes me like 15 minutes max because i am pushing it i'm literally at the gas station y'all i checked my gas hand and it was on e like my gas light was on i was like what the like, whoa, this cannot be happening right now. I was literally about to get off the exit, so thank God I had to pass this quick trip because I'm here getting some gas. And look, I'm gonna show y'all. I'm literally barefooted. <laughs> I ain't got on no shoes because the shoes that I got on hurt. I guess I'm gonna put 35 in here because I need to hurry up. Like, I don't know how much it's gonna take to fill my car up, but I gotta hurry up because ah, I about passed 35. I'm on a time frame. But yeah, those shoes hurt my feet. Like, I don't know. I can't wear those. Okay, I said no receipt. Okay. So everything is good. Let me get back in my car. I would like to get to know. I done arrived at my doctor's office. I'm literally sitting in my car in the garage and it's so dark in this garage. Um, I'm about to drink this glucose drink. It is currently 2.27. I got here probably, let me make sure my door's locked. I got here probably like five minutes ago. I had to somebody parking space because for one, they were coming down to get this parking spot because they had seen somebody um, pull out. But I was coming up, so I was closer. And I'm just like, you're not even supposed to be coming down anyways. Like, this is only up. So ghetto. I took it anyways, and they got mad and stormed off. So, shoot. First come, first serve, baby. Let me hurry up and drink this drink for real. God, please give me the energy and the strength to drink this drink. I pray that I can keep everything down and it don't make me sick. In Jesus' name, I pray, amen. <sighs> I'm so scared. They said you got to drink it within five minutes. I just put the phone right here because this thing right here literally just made me mad. Like, so freaking mad. Okay. Oh, it's like an orange drink. Like an orange soda. It's not bad. I 
oh my gosh this literally tastes like a fanta orange or no it tastes like a sunkissed orange yes this tastes like a sunkiss for real It's strong, you know. It got that, uh, like that, uh, to it. Oh, they got my eyes watering. <laughs> Woo! That right there woke me up. Okay, that was not bad. I just did the freaking most, y'all. Oh, my God. That literally made my day. Y'all, I was thinking that this drink was so bad because mama, who else was telling me? Everybody was saying that this drink was bad. I don't know, but this drink was delicious. Like, it tastes like a freaking sun kiss, for real. But let me go ahead and go in there. It's 2.30. They said that we have to arrive is it 15 minutes early? I don't know. I don't know. But I'm finally on the first floor because y'all know this parking deck is, oh my gosh, like you cannot find a parking space. And every time I've been coming, I've been on like the third or fourth floor. And I'm finally on the first floor. They got little trolley things where they can take you wherever you need to go where you need to go to like the cancer side i'm under the blue parking deck and this is the side for pregnant women and like delivery so i literally just came out the wrong way y'all look where i'm at so now i gotta walk way back up here because i came out the wrong way they literally just got done doing my glucose test. They dropped some blood and they pricked my finger for the iron. They said my iron was perfect. Now the doctor is about to come in. But the thing is, this is a man doctor. I haven't met with him at all. Like, is he new? I know they said that I'm gonna meet with all of the doctors in total. I think they said it was six, but I've only met two. One of them was pregnant, and I'm pretty sure she probably done had her baby by now. Yeah, she probably done had her baby by now. And the other one, which I love her to death, she's so sweet. Um, she's always so busy every time I come here, but this doctor, I don't know. I hope he's just as nice as everybody else, but we gonna see how this goes. I done pulled up at Fried Tomato buffet i don't know if y'all don't ever heard of that if not then please google it y'all i am craving some fried green tomatoes so freaking bad y'all like so freaking bad and i was like today i'm gonna take myself out to eat after i leave the doctor and that's what i did i told my baby daddy my baby daddy said that he's coming i don't know if he would want to eat here because what is he gonna get? Like he's vegan unless he eats some chicken or something. I don't know. But um, you know what's crazy? I literally used to go to the doctors on Tuesday. But then today it fell on a Thursday because they be going by like four weeks from like that day that I be there. And like, okay, like for an example, so today they said that my next visit is going to be on December 1st, but I think that's on a Thursday, if I'm not mistaken, but I told them to do it for a Monday because I'm going to be off on that Monday, the following Monday. So that worked out good, but I'm going to start calling him Trey, which is my baby daddy. So Trey um normally be off on monday or tuesday sometimes mondays and tuesdays but this week he was off monday tuesday and wednesday and i had my doctor's appointment on thursday so i'm just like you know what it's cool 
I normally go to the doctors on Tuesday every single month, y'all. It always be on a Tuesday, and now it's just like now. My appointments is just all over the place, but I'm finna call him to see where he's at because I'm literally sitting in a parking lot, and let me lock my doors. I'm literally sitting in a parking lot, and if he's not coming or if it's going to take him like longer than 20 minutes to get here, then I'm finna go in and eat because I'm so hungry. When I was looking at the ultrasound, she was sucking her thumb. I had text mama and told her that she's already sucking her thumb. And mama was like, uh-uh, she better not start that. <laughs> but I got the picture of it. Let me show y'all. Oh, snap, I about ripped it. So they said that this is my last ultrasound appointment. Like, I'm not gonna get any more ultrasound done because they just cut out all that but look y'all i don't know if y'all can see that y'all probably gotta pause it and look at it but she's sucking her thumb oh my gosh like that's so crazy i just got off the phone with trey and he talking about he in the shower boy if you don't stay your butt where you at i'm finna go eat uh-uh i'm already impatient and i'm hungry oh uh uh baby no what? I knew it was something because it was taking him forever to write back. And every single time it taking him forever to write back, he in the freaking shower. Uh-uh. This is the place right here. I'm about to go in and eat. I love coming throughout the week because it don't really be packed. Hopefully it's not. Yeah. Trey house and sit with him for probably like an hour or like 30 minutes I'm not gonna sit with him long I'm gonna just stop by and see him I'm full and I done got lazy and oh my gosh this is the type of fool that hurt a little bit you know you know I'd be too full that it just hurt <laughs> oh my gosh it's time for me to go home. Shoot, I already got a little dry. 
But yeah, I'm finna go chill with him. He said he just ran to Walmart. I'm 20 minutes away from him. So by the time I make it to his house, hopefully he done made it back from Walmart. I don't know. Hopefully. And hopefully he don't have me out there waiting for a long time. He probably just getting something to cook for the night or something. I don't know. I literally should have just came straight home and I should never stopped over there. Like he done pissed me the fuck off. Like them pissed me off. Could have been avoided. Could have been home already. Wouldn't be stuck in traffic right now because traffic is going slow literally it, it might look like i'm going fast but we're literally about to come to a standstill could be home all fucking ready but instead i was trying to be nice and stop by there never again like niggas just pissed me off i don't know if is because of my ways or what, but. I done made it home. Now I'm about to set up my work from home equipment. Let me show y'all. So I got two screens. Is this one plus another one and I got the cam, the webcam, and I got this. It came with the internet cable. I think that's what this is. I done set everything up. I don't know what's up with this screen right here. I don't know if it's supposed to pop up anything, but honestly, I'm not finna stress over this. I do not care. Um, the mouse only worked good with this thing on the bottom of it. And this is mine. It's Bluetooth, but it's not charged. Since I'm done setting up my equipment, I guess I could talk to y'all a little bit. I guess I can kind of sort of tell y'all why I was mad at Trey earlier. Um, Because I know y'all going to be wondering, like, I wonder what he do or whatever and me i ain't shame like if you piss me off you just piss me the fuck off literally so for one you know i had told y'all that he had went to walmart so i'm thinking that he going to walmart for himself but he said that he had took his homeboy to walmart or whatever so i was waiting for probably like 10 minutes but when i pulled up i seen his car there um you know I couldn't park unless they moved, so they had moved up some. And then they had left and came back. And I had a feeling that they was probably waiting on Trey. You know, like, I don't know, you know. It's just, you know how you get a gut feeling that they waiting on somebody. So when Trey pulled up, you know, I was just watching them or whatever and I could just tell they was he he and ha ha and stuff like that like I knew one of them liked him like I knew that for a fact because she, whoever was driving the car did not leave until after Trey pulled up literally like was waiting for him the whole time you could just tell because girl she was there for a long time and i know for a fact she was because they stayed there the whole time that i was there waiting for him in the car literally was not doing nothing so the friend said the friend is the one to stay over there at the complex but the friend was like oh yeah trey i got you one the six or something like that and he was like okay and um something else happened or whatever but she was like laughing and stuff with the um with the friend who was driving the car so me i just got out and i went over there and then they were just looking i'm like yeah baby mama mm-hmm show sure is uh-huh yeah <laughs> but no nah, you know trey is free to do whatever he want to do 
seriously. But I had asked him, I was like, one of them females like you? And he was like, yeah, it's the girl that's still over here, best friend. I was like, oh, okay, I ain't asked no questions because it's none of my business and it is what it is. But that's not what pissed me off. What pissed me off was him being high. Like, I'm there and he just high, just high as I don't know what, like literally just zoned out, eyes low and everything. And I'm like, I'm only here for a certain amount of time. It's not like I'm staying here. So talk, like talk the fuck. What's up? What's good? He talking about, um. You, what? He was like, well, take a seat or something like that. I don't know. It just pissed me off because he wasn't really saying anything because I'm guessing he was high or too high or whatever. But it is what it is. And yes, I'm mad. It could be my hormones or it's just very disrespectful. But I don't care. Anyways... I'm about to get ready for bed because I'm tired and I've been up since like 8.30 or 9 this morning and normally I do not wake up that early. I'm about to take me a shower, throw my bonnet on. My puff was cute today, wasn't it? Period. So yeah, this is the end of this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.